Hello everyone. My name is Noah James Gonzalez. Friends and families call me Nonong Gonzalez, a name given to me by my grandpa which I like, and a name which established my identity. I invite you, together with my mom Angelia, Grandma Nancy, Tita G. Ann, and my grandpa Jimmy, to come travel with me as I journey around the world to see the beautiful places, its people and culture, and taste its native delicacies. Founded in 1868, Lincoln Park Zoo is dedicated to connecting people with nature through a free, family-oriented wildlife experience in the heart of Chicago and by advancing the highest quality of animal care, education, science, and conservation. As populations increase, it's crucial to find ways for people and wildlife to thrive together. This is a charge Lincoln Park Zoo is ready to lead. We're at the forefront of studying how people in nature class and coexist in teaching visitors of all backgrounds how nature must be integrated in our lives for healthy, happy futures for people and animals alike. The zoo, together with technological help from the Adler Planetarium, is aiming to expand its survey of Chicago area wildlife with public assistance at an interactive website, Zooniverse. The zoo has positioned motion sensing cameras in the Chicago area to catch images of wildlife and the public is asked to help identify the animal. The exhibit used to house the main wolf and Mexican gray wolf, but both species were removed when the Pritcher family children's zoo opened its own red wolf habitat in 2005. Another remaining member of the bear line is a single Malayan sun bear. The zoo was also home to two elderly Andean bears, Goliath and Mani, that have since been sent to another zoo, as have the spotted hyenas. The zoo received two polar bears, brother and sister Lee and Anana in 2001 but currently only Anana remains as Lee was sent to the Detroit Zoo to assist in a breeding program. Open in 2014, 
Macaque Forest is an exhibit allowing guests to connect with a troop of 10 to 15 Japanese macaques and a camouflage forest scene with views from the boat above and eye level with the animals. The exhibit features a hot spring, a trademark favorite of the species, which allows them to warm up in the winter and amuse guests. It also functions as a dedicated research station for the macaques. It is the zoo's third exhibit to house private. The North American beaver is one of two extant beaver species. It is native to North America and introduced to Patagonia and South America in some European countries. In the United States and Canada, the species is often referred to simply as beaver. Many of the species in the southern habitats shifted over the years, including Amur leopards, Eurasian lynxes, Apalas cat, and a puma in the exhibit later years, with the last major addition being a one-year-old snow leopard named Tassa, who arrived on December 11, 2014. In 2016, the zoo announced a 30 30 million dollar renovation of the habitat as part of the Pride of Chicago fundraising campaign, acknowledging the public perception problems of the historic building and confirming that the focus would be a more naturalistic space for lions and that tigers would not be returning in the immediate future. An exact date for the exhibit reopening has been set. A historic zoo landmark first built in 1912. The Cobbler Lion House building stands at the heart of the zoo near its entrance and has housed a variety of big cat species over the years. Most notably, many lions as well as Siberi Siberian tigers, which inhabited two grottos on the northern exterior of the building. It's having access to multiple indoor areas alongside the interior main hall and a glass window viewing areas on the end of its grotto for guests to get a closer view. Other big cats, such as the Jaguar, were allowed rotating access to two to three indoor window exhibits at a time. The southern exterior included five plus habitats that housed a variety of different cat species over the years. In addition, they also held a pair of red pandas, which were part of the species survival plan. The indoor area also has a large gift shop where visitors can purchase flash toys of big cats, bears, and other animals. One of the exhibit's notable residents was Adelor the African lion who lived at the zoo from 1995 until his death in February 2012 and was one of the zoo's most popular animals. Upon his death, an anonymous donor paid for a statue of Adelor, which now stands at the East Gate. He was succeeded by a male lion named Sahar, who turned four in January 2014. Another notable individual was a beloved black leopard, Marta, who was euthanized due to kidney problems in 2010. 
The zoo was also once known for having some of the only Asiatic lions in the United States, but these were later found to have received African-Asian hybrid. As I pause here, I hope you enjoy our ride. Don't forget to watch my next episode. And please hit the like button below for it means so much for me. Until next time, thank you so much. Special thanks to Eman Mosri and Anan Mosri.